Is it on? Yeah. Okay. It's working. You got me on there. Yes. Capture yes. the movement. Yeah, yes. You're on. Okay. Let me see you. We're on. Okay. Make sure you follow around. Now we got to do this quick so I don't know how much memory that thing's got. So I have those pictures from my vacation to the Grand Canyon on there and all that other junk. So you can have your, you can have your study guides out in front of you. That is fine. Now, yesterday we reviewed, right, camera, we reviewed. We reviewed momentum, we started momentum, we talked about math and everything like that. Right, Shay? Yeah. Okay. So, for math, what is our definition of math? Yes, Tristan. That means Tristan. it's recording. The total amount of matter in the object. Total amount of matter in the object, right? Now, a couple, a couple things go along with math, right? A couple things go along with math. There are two types, or not two types, there are two kind of characteristics that go with math. When you think of math, what is related to math along the same lines? Sam. Weight. Weight. So math and weight are related, right? So the weight of something is generally means the same as the mass. So the mass of something, the more mass, the more weight. And then there's another thing that deals with math too. And that is what? Besides weight. Um, another thing that deals with does math. Does this little triangle thing mean it's recording? It's called a rectangle. Oh it's a rectangle with a triangle in it. Oh it's it's not recording. recording. Next time you ask a question, put on the person that's answering. That's generally what you do. I don't. I'm sure. I think. That's what I thought. Okay. okay. Yes, it's recording. Okay. Well. Okay. So our next characteristic is not weight, but it is what? Size. Size. Is size, Kristen, is size related to math? Yes. No. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So size is not always related to math because we have this big box, right? This is pretty large size. But this book here weighs more and it's smaller. So size and math are not always related, right? It could be. Right. Size and math. I wasn't throwing it at the camera. No, but still, it could be related because it's not always. Not always. So, but weight Please is always related to math. Book. Size is not always related to math. Okay? So I'm just showing you the difference here. Book. Small book, large math, big object. <laughs> Not a lot of math. That's okay? Now, let's talk about math and motion. All right? Is it easier to move an object that has little mass or an easier to move an object that has a lot of mass? Haley. Little mass, right? It's easier to move something with a little mass than it is to move something with a large amount of mass, correct? All right? So, that's when we try to get it to move. Now, let's say it's in motion. It's in motion. What's easier to stop moving? Something with a little mass or something with a large amount of mass? A large mass? A large Would be easier to stop. If we have, if you have off a cliff, we drop a boulder and a pebble, okay? Would be easier to stop? The smaller one, the pebble would be easier to stop. So that, that shows there it's easier to stop an object with a small mass, okay? So it's easier to start an object with a small mass, start moving, and it's easier to stop an object with a small mass. Okay, so big mass, hard to move, hard to stop. Small mass, easy to move, easy to stop. What's the term that we use to describe how hard it is to get something to move? If it's just sitting there, to move it, what's that term we use? Inertia. inertia. So the more inertia it has, the harder it is to move. Okay? Now what's, when it's in motion, what is the term that tells us how hard it is for something to stop moving? Micah. Momentum. Momentum. Good. Momentum is how hard it is to stop a moving object. Momentum has an equation just like acceleration and velocity. Right? What is the abbreviate, I'm sorry, what is the variable, the variable we use for momentum in the equation? Chelsea. P. P is the correct answer, right? The letter P is for momentum, right? We use for mass. What do we use for mass? M for mass, and mass for velocity, V for velocity. Very good. So the two things that affect momentum are mass and velocity. Now what do we use for the units of momentum? After you write the number, you got to have the units too. What do we use for that, Micah? Kilograms times meters per second. Good. Kilograms times meters per second are the units you must have when you write your answer in momentum. All right? For mass, what's the units we use for mass? Mm -hmm. 
My calculations serve me well. It would be kilograms. Your calculations are correct. Kilograms is the correct answer. Now we have for velocity. What do we use for velocity? <laughs> Meters per second, good. Meters per second is for velocity. So I give our units for momentum, kilograms times meters per second. All right. So yesterday we ended with this calculation. We had the largest man in the world who had 635 kilograms, who was around 2,000 pounds. He was moving at one meter per second, which is just like big steps. Then we had an average sized man who weighed 45 kilograms, and he was moving at 7.5 meters per second. I want you to calculate the momentum and which one 